Chosen ones. Where you are, chosen ones, your privacy is your power. Let's talk about that. Privacy is key to every chosen one. Privacy is everything, right? If you are a chosen one, you know, you are already going through so much attack. That is it. We chosen ones are already going through a lot. We are already going through hate. We are already going through envy, jealousy. We are already going through a whole lot of things. All right. So if we don't learn to be private about our things, our issues, we will rather be putting more fuel that is petrol into the fire that we are already going through. And it will burn and burn and burn and burn and burn and burn everything. Right? Let's think about it. You see, if you are a chosen one, life is not easy for you because you're doing something good. Right? You're trying to become a better version of yourself. So for sure, the attack is going to be great. You're trying to live a righteous life. For sure, the devil is going to come after you because you are doing something right. So it's like the enemy is in opposition with you. So the enemy is going to be attacking you. There's going to be a whole lot of hate, evil attack, bad dreams, bad nightmares. All right? On your path as a chosen one. So... Knowing this, when we cherish our privacy and remain quiet about certain issues, certain achievements in this life, we don't blow our own trumpet. We don't boast about our achievement. All right. It will help us to limit the rate at which negative energies, negative forces from outside will come and interfere with our goals, with our aims, with our dreams, with our visions, with our aspirations, with our purpose in this life. I'm telling you. All right. So when you remain private and you keep on setting your goals, achieving them, all right, you will be limiting these kind of outside negative energies and forces that will be coming against you. So by you lessen your talk with people, with co-workers, with the people in your cycle, by you lessen the things you share on social media, you are doing yourself a great stuff, a great thing. The people are not going to know much about you to be attacking you from outside. Right? Some of our troubles are as a result of we talking too much. Not being private about our things. Some of our attacks comes as a result of we talking too much to our co-workers. We're talking too much to our friends. We're talking too much to our relatives. We're talking too much to people. we posting too much on social media. All right? I'm not saying you shouldn't post. You can post off. It is your right. But you need to let wisdom guide you in doing so. All right? So that you don't invite negative energies, outside negative forces to yourself to come and be disturbing you. All right? So by you cherishing your privacy, you will be doing yourself a whole lot of great things. I'm telling you, a wise man once said, just because you're not sharing it on social media, doesn't mean you are not doing great things, achieving great things in this life. And that is really true. 
Oh, yes. If you have good people around you, good positive people around you, fine. If you have caring, loving people around you, you can share with them. When you share with them and it helps enhance your energy, increase your energy the more, that is okay. But if you know you are like my type, that, oh, they don't even want the best for you already. You know you are surrounded by a lot of hates. You know you are surrounded by a lot of envious and jealous people. And you keep on you know, being boastful, being arrogant, being, you know, letting pride take over you. They are going to be like, hmm, oh, okay, I see. I will show him. I will show her. All right? So, learn to cherish your privacy. This is not too much. This is just for your growth. For your advancement. This is just for your, for your, for your protection. Privacy is your power. It is your protection. We are not in normal times. So being private about your issues, you are protecting yourself from a whole lot of outside attacks, energies that will come and fight you. Learn to stay private on certain issues. I'm telling you. Because most of the people you share your stuff with are not happy for you. In fact, the moment you share with them and you leave that scene, they are like, look at her, look at him. He He's lucky. She's even lucky. She had this, she has that. We, look at us. We, we don't have anything. And you... You, 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 you have that, you have that good wife, you have that good husband, you have children, you know, you, you, you are working, all right? Every day you go to work, you, you lucky, you get, you get, you get a store, you get a provision store, you get a provision so shop, you see your children, they are educated, you know, they've attending, they are attending better schools and stuff. Look at us and, and stuff. All right? In your face, they will act as if, yeah, they care, but all is just to know who you are so that they will know the strategy they're going to use to come against you. I'm telling you. All right? So, privacy is key. The more you are private with your prayer line, with your achievement, with your success, oh, come on. You will be doing so much great stuff. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So don't brag. Don't be boastful. Go about your daily activities. Set goals. Make your plans. Make your move. Achieve them. All right? But don't blow your own trumpet. Don't be announcing yourself. Let your success speak for you. Let the result make the noise for you. It is not you that you have to go around telling people, I have this, I have that, I own this, I own that. Yeah. Chosen one. Stay low key. Live in that manner. It makes you more great. Remember, those who humble themselves will be exalted. And those who are arrogant and pride, they feel so proud about themselves. The Lord says, Scripture says, you will bring them down. Be humble. Stay low key. All right? And I'm telling you, God will keep on blessing you if you keep on humbling yourself. All right? If you keep on humbling yourself, it is great that way. It makes you more attractive. It makes you more, you know, great. And it makes you unpredictable. 
if let's say we are going to um, play a game and you know the outcome of the game, will it be interesting for you? It will not be interesting for you. So keep shocking people. Keep surprising people. Right? When that is happening, they don't know who you are. Keep your income to yourself. Keep your family issues to yourself. Keep your next moves, your next plan of actions to yourself. All right? Keep it to yourself. Remember, when you talk too much, sometimes you may be educating a demon who appears in an angel manner. You'll be educating an enemy. You don't know. Right? Be careful of who you share things with. Because salt and sugar look the same. I'm telling you. Satan himself was once an angel. So be very, very much careful. Because betrayals, betrayal is real. People will give up on you right now. They will turn to your enemy overnight. And a friend who can turn to an enemy overnight has been hating you since. I'm telling you. So be much careful of who you share your stuff with. Sometimes the person you call your best friend is having another best friend and that best friend is your enemy. But you never knew. You never know of that. And boom, the moment you share with, the person is going to share with that best friend who happens to be your enemy. But when you keep it to yourself and you are unpredictable, before they see it is happening, they are like, wow, this guy, this lady, what is she up to? Right? Live that way. Life is a mystery. And as a, as a chosen one, for you to live longer, to have longevity in this life, you must be governed and guided by mystery. And what is mystery? Mystery is secret. Something Unknown, unknowable, you don't know. So mystery, being governed by mystery, sur surrounded by mystery, your life being mystery, makes you unpredictable and attractive. If people can predict you, who you are, that is going to be the end of your life. I'm telling you. If people can predict that mm, he or she is going to be there at this time, oh, you are already finished. If people can predict you, oh, he or she is going to take this route this way, you are dumb. I'm telling you. So, be private. Privacy is key. It's your power. You're going through so much already. So don't add more to it. Learn strategies to keep on reducing the attacks, the burdens. And staying low key is one of the great power you can use at your disposal. All right? That's it. Thank you for watching. I'm out.